fellow HHO experimenters. What I'd like to uh, talk about today is um, the resistance of uh, stainless steel. Right now, I'm running my generator at uh, 16.5 amps, 12 volts, 12.1 volts. Um, this is a stainless steel bolt. And uh, I was using this one, I was using this one for um, my terminal. And uh, discovered that it um, really gets hot. And it's got to be thinking, you know, there's got to be quite a bit of resistance in this bolt to make it uh, 115.6 degrees. Okay, now here, this is a, an ordinary uh, bolt that you buy from any hardware store, nothing special about it. 97 degrees. Uh, I, I would have to say though, it's, 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 it's warm in here. It's uh, 94.3 degrees in my shop right now. Um, like I say, we're running, well right now we're running uh, about 15 amps, 12.2 volts, pretty normal. Now this is my cell. I changed these bolts out after I discovered that I was losing so much energy right here at the bolt before it even went into the, the cell. Now I can touch this. I tell you, the other day it was, it was really hot. Um, which got me thinking that the resistance in stainless steel on a cell like this where you've got, I've got 15, 16 inches of uh, plate area here it might very well be a good idea to put uh, a couple of um, terminals at the bottom here, feeding it from both directions, um, because I'm thinking there's got to be quite a bit of uh, heat loss just in the just in the um, stainless steel itself. Um, well, I hope you'll take a look at my blog. I've got all kinds of interesting stuff on there. This is Bob Campbell, and uh, thank you for watching.